Second Peters, Second Peters, chapter, chapter three, verse one, the NLT translation. The NLT translation. This is my sec. This is my second letter to you, dear friends. And in both, and in both of them, I have tried to stimulate your wholesome thinking and refresh your memories. I want you to remember what the Holy Prophets said long ago and what our Lord and Savior commanded through your apostles. Most importantly, I want to remind you that in the last days, scoffers will come mocking the truth. And following their own desires. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashim, Rakaq Kodash. The Wadi Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders a great millstone, deserve double honors, rightfully so. Shalom to the Aki and put you in the word of sincerity and truth, for being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, star five D chip was the mark of the beast. Two hundred million missiles hit the soils of America. Simultaneously the terrorists of the Lord left the whole full elect into the chambers. Simultaneously the terrorists of the Lord shooting laser beams to ungodly in the heathens. Rightfully so. Hey Abarata God the Lord take the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation out of this filthy place spiritually known as Southern and Gamal, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs they are taking upon. And just as the scripture says, even in even in the NLT translation, just by the way, that translation, I mean, that what I just read was the NLT translation. Alright. Um And the headline reads for that chapter is the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord, the day of the Lord Yahweh is coming. The day of the Lord Yahweh is coming. And since back then, because it makes logical sense, even with the scripture I just read, that that's reincarnation. You know, to bring you back to remembrance, to refer, give you a, uh, um, to stimulate. Uh, what's the word? Stimulate me. Stimulate. Stimulate. Right. Raise levels of your psychological or nervous activation actively activating actively in the body or any biological system right. encourage entrance interest or active activating in a person or animal encourage development of or increase activity activating in a state of process so that's three different meanings but um they all um does this the, does the same thing based upon um activating your um something you know which 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 means to bring back or to stimulate to revive you know and i seen that in a, um 
a video what they were doing to a chicken or chicken parts, which was crazy. They just had they didn't even have no flesh. They didn't have it. Just they just connecting it and they were stimulating it, bringing it back. All right, I'm trying to, it was making it move. But in this case, the Lord is stimulating your spirit within this flesh that you're in. Because you was in your old flesh, which went back to the dirt, went back into the ground, right? And your spirit went up and back to the spirit world. And it came back around after your father and your mother in this lifetime had intercourse and brought you back into the world. As a baby, you grow up. You don't. You just. You don't have. You know. You have deja vu and vivid memories of things. But it's just a short period thing. Like it's just a deja vu. Like oh, so that's like a, a, a stimulating your mind, refreshing your mind, and that's what happens to us now. We have been. Um, Um, how do I, let me see. What was that word? Refresh. All right, let's go back. Let's read this again. And though you once knew this, right? I'm going to reread this. And let's see. Um, Jude. I'm, I'm going to find that verse. So lock it. The verse is jumped to my line. All right. Um, this is um Second Peter's chapter three verse one. And this, see, that's why these words was written for our learning. You know, educate educate means to bring out what is within. All right, to refresh, to um bring back, to um bring bring up to the forefront, to make you remember, man. You know. And now we're down. But you gotta remember. And as usual, the scriptures always clarifies for me. You know, like I just found that. So whoever tried to, you know, you know, when somebody tried to write the NLT translation, the, the, the new. Let me see. Whenever they try to um. Always got different translations, right? Let's see something here. So we got the NLT, we got the KJV, which is the the, um, the King James version. We got the NKJV, we got the ASV. These are different um translations, but in the spirit, it always goes back to Yahabashimal Shah. Cause they try to make their own translation, but it's still for Yahweh Shem Shah. It belongs to us. That's why you know I'm in the blue letter, and um, it's it's uh how you say um, it's for our learning. Cause when Apostle Hart um, when this was revealed to Apostle Hart, it was, you know, when I first tried to go try to navigate through it, I was like, wow. You know, you, you, it's it's clear, it's foggy, but now it's clear how to navigate through it. It's not to um. Uh, oh, this version is for this. This version is for that. No, it's for, it's for, it's for the edification. That's what all these these um different um translation is for, and it helps out. Those it clarify it clarifies it clarifies <laughs> that's the word like the, the K well, I just read um I just read the um the K the, the NLT right so the, just just the spirit I guess the spirit when we talk about this um um Second Peter chapter three verse one just second the the King, the King James version. This second epistle, beloved, I write unto you in both 
which I which I stir up your pure mind, your pure mind, which is a spirit, your spirit, right? By the ways of remembrance. It's like you 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 physically dead. I mean you you um yeah you you're not physically dead, but you're spiritually dead. So you gotta be refreshed. But your spirit is not dead. It's just got to be reminded. It's got to be brought back to remembrance. Which I stir up your pure mind by the way of remembrance. Right? That verse, I mean, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets. And of the commandment and of the commandments of us, the apostles, and our other one, Yahweh Shah. Right? And we would get what what he was speaking about, his coming back. And that's what that's what um that's what it says, the day of the Lord, the day of Yahweh Shah, the day of Yahweh Shah is coming. His day is coming. That's what it's about. Uh, remembering what he's going to be doing. Remember um, uh, to get your act together. And that's what our apostles is doing now. All right. Let's see something. For our learning, Bible verse, Romans. According to Bible.com, Romans chapter... It's a lot, yeah. I know that's Romans. Yeah. And that's what's happening, man. <clears throat> it's a lot. Everything is just um, acting slow. Romans chapter 15, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. So it, it makes so much sense that our part, um, we have to, it just makes so much sense, man. Just eternal fire being burnt, oh, you know, help me burning. That shit don't make no damn sense. You know, this makes much, you know, this salvation thing. Oh, man, I mean, I'm just telling you, bro. <laughs> you know, all the stupid things I ever learned, you know. But this makes, it makes, this makes the most logical sense. You know. Just speaking as a man. Generally, it's been narrowed down. Okay. So, <clears throat> we die. Right, or you get put to sleep. Right, you go rest, rest in the spirit. Your body goes back to the um, back into the ground, your flesh, right, which is the word of down means ground, right, right, and and we come out the um, the spirit goes in the body, we come out abundantly, right, in the Genesis. So now go the body go back down because now we die every day, and we die, right. These flesh, this flesh dies all the time. You know, we come back, we, go, we do it again. And you just don't come back as a whole body. This time you um come back to the, to the womb, right out the fall into the womb, and you grow up. So I was listening to the brother yesterday. This is coming to my mind. He said, um, kings are made. All right, kings are made. So you got to be groomed to become a king. And and at this time, what it says in um, King, um in Revelation chapter five, this is coming to mind right now. We are kings and priests for making us kings and priests. So we are being groomed. We we oh another scripture just quoting verses as I go along. Um, that we don't drink, we don't eat meat, we drink milk. So being groomed. 
So we were coming back. We were, um, oh, um, oh, so many movies. Just, all right. We were reminded. We woke up. Oh, man. We find out the truth and we want to learn more. This is what this verse coming at, right here. So, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. For whatsoever things were written before time, were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Hope in what? In salvation. Hmm? So. And, you know, um, all the hope, all, I was not all that made sense. <laughs> that was a lot for me, too. Just, to, it was just, you know, I didn't mean to ramble or nothing. I was just quoting verses. Verses just jumped in my head as I was just thinking. And, and that's, and that's in remembrance because remember, if, um, if we've been doing this in the ancient time, we had all this down pat. But we might be um, being in a society, being coming back. We may have um, um. We've been called, so now we are doing it. We're doing our calling, making up, making our calling election sure. Right, um, we are on the highways and hedges, and we edify and we build. We we are part of the body. So that's a part of um being, you know, one of y'all y'all show the soldiers out on the battlefield. Do patience, right? But this is about a patience thing too. Cause vengeance ain't yours. He, he order for this to order for you to be justified, they gotta they gotta do their part too, the wicked and the um other nations and the and the scoffers. They gotta do their part too. Order for you to be justified. Order for you to um to be a king and a priest. You know, I was just looking at um this individual said something on one of my videos, which I've been ignoring. I, I don't know who the hell he is. But these scoffers don't stop scoffing. So if they don't stop scoffing, that means we can't stop doing our part. We can't stop edifying. They keep scoffering. We got to keep edifying. And that word edify means to build up. So we got to keep building up. They keep scoffing, trying to build, break down. We going to keep building up. So I know it's all, I hope all that came together. <coughs> so that's our job, to keep building up. And do these letters we got built up? Because when our elders from um, from uh, from our apostles and our elders and Akim, they've been reading the scriptures, and we've been being built up too. And we get out there, and we build up too. So we got our job is, is ongoing too. Cause Satan don't sleep. He be on the job all day, every day. And he's a part of our um our task too. Um our you know our tests. He have a job to do, the spiritual Satan. Just like the the um the physical counterpart on the earth, the devil, he have a job to do too. It's all about making making us great, building us up. How much, what can you deal with? And this is the worst case scenario. What this life right we live in right now is the worst case scenario. You know? The worst one ever we ever been in. You know? And um it's uh it's um it's building us up, this whole situation. Making us great and great judges. Because remember, what was, what, was one of, what was the main thing Yahweh, Solomon said to Yahweh? He said, I want to learn how to govern your people. 
how to be a righteous ruler. You know? And that's what we learn how to be. Righteous rulers. Kings and priests. I was watching the brother's video in Mississippi. They were saying that um, we're going to be a government by We're going to learn how to um, govern the earth. Take care. Be husbands. We're going to be husbandry. The word husbandry is to me to till the land. And the, 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 um, the, what we're going to be husbandry in is the people. We're going to learn how to, they, they're going to, they from the earth too, so we're gonna. Well, they got roots too. They're gonna. They're gonna. We're gonna. They're gonna. We're gonna govern the other nations. You know, they're gonna do all our how holy days. They're gonna. They're gonna worship. We're gonna be priests. We're gonna show them how to do this correctly, a hundred percent correct. Because these scriptures, these epistles, is what been given to us as the um, beginning stages. All right. Now is what what it says. This is my like just the, um Second Peter chapter three verse one the NLT. This is my second letter. This is one of the letters to you, dear friends. He had to write these letters back in the ancient time. This two thousand years ago. All this stuff was two thousand years ago, around Yahweh Shah time, or before. Genesis before. <laughs> All this stuff was written for before time for our learning. If it wasn't written down, we wouldn't we wouldn't be um having it. This is a spiritual book, man. Very spiritual. It's the book is alive, man. This is my second letter to you, dear friends. And we are dear friends to Yahweh El Shah. And in both of them have I tried to stimulate. We went over that word stimulate. So it's, we've been stimulated. Your wholesome thinking. Your wholesome thinking. We want to be thinking right. And refresh your memories right or refresh renew what's the Greek word saying that kainos not only learn it we learn it we learn all language all genre we learn about everything to learn how to judge correctly chapters of my let's see because Yahweh Shah is making us, um, Yahweh Yahweh Shah is making us great, powerful. And we stand out, man. Like I was, um, oh, come on, let me. It's locked, man. Hold on, wait now. Um, Lock your servers that can slow. Just thinking about a verse. I do what I do with Revelation 5. Let's make it to the point. <coughs> Got it. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to read up a little bit and then get to the point. Because um, this is what Yahweh Shah did. He, he, um, um, Salakia. Right, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm Salakia. I lost train of thought. Um, he had brought us back into remembrance. The spirit, the spirit was dealing with you. You were brought back to remembrance, and then you, um, you were able to learn how to navigate through the book 
according to the spirit of Yahweh of Yahweh Shah. He is the he is the um the spirit that's in the book because which makes logical sense. Everybody would everybody would get it if it was just about reading the book. But they don't get it. Cause they can't see it, they can't seem to they can't seem to distinguish between the false prophets and the prophets. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, this is um and they can't seem to distinguish from Yahweh Shai and this other stringy hair person that's that that's not in written in a book. It talks about another Jesus. But the the Jesus is really Yahweh Shai. And the other Jesus is is, is such a real bullshit. Alright? And we're not worshiping such a bullshit. Uh, and it said we're worshiping Yahweh Shah, Yahweh El Shah. Revelation chapter five verse eight. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts, and the forty, and the and the four and twenty, twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them heaps, harps. Of the golden vow filled with the odors, which are the prayers of the saints. See, they were, they were, the angels were counting this, this, the prayers, man. That's a lot of elders. That's a lot of angels. A lot of angels, man. And they sang their new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. That means to, to give you the understanding. Yahweh Shah did that. That's how it was able to go out there. For thou was slain and redeemed, I mean, and has redeemed us by thy blood out of every kindred, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nations. So we was redeemed out of all the other people. Those are the ones that was called. And the bulk makes logical sense that this will be the place. The whole America will be the place where all this is going to go down at. The majority of people is going to be coming out of here. And this is where you want to be based upon, if because you can't flee nowhere. You're here. You found out the truth. Oh, I'm running away. Where are you going to run to, man? The, the curses are still going to follow you. All right? The curses are still going to follow you. So there's nowhere to run. 